All right, we're back to the uh, valve here on this thing, and it's been sitting for a few days with some oil in it. And what I'm going to do is take this block of wood here, and uh, first I'll put the piston all the way at the top here. I'll take this block of wood and hammer it down. Countering some resistance, so let's see what happens here. There we go. All right, why not? Oh, check it out. It's going down. Just not down enough. So let's spray some PB Blaster down there. And give it another tap tap. Oh yeah, now it's seeking good. Let's see what happens now. There we go. It's going up. Just not seating down all the way. Going up. Going down. Give another tap. If we do this a couple times, we'll probably loosen it up enough that it works. Probably just a little bit of rust on the bottom of the valve there where the valve guy goes through. There you go. Figure I'll just work it right here in the spot where the valve goes up and down. I'm kind of pushing it with my thumb. I think we got it good. Let me see what happens now. Yeah, it's going down perfect. Perfect. What I'm going to do is take a wire brush and clean up the head here and get all the carbon off of it. Be right back. Alright, so I got this nice little brush here. I got some brake parts cleaner. Gonna spray it down a little bit. I'm just gonna take this brush and try to get some of that carbon off. Sometimes you gotta use a razor blade or something like that. mostly old oil that's just hardened up on there. You can use the wood inside of this as a scraper too. If you got any really bad spots. Hands empty. Let's try this one.
There we go. Looking good, huh, guys? Piston says two, three, five, eight, zero, two, which I assume is a Kohler part number. Now, the bottom of the head is just as crusty. I'm just going to take, oh, shoot, drop the washer through the trailer. I'm going to clean up the head before I put it back together, too. So just for now, I'm going to kind of put these bolts in the right holes where they belong. Just so I don't lose them. And I'm actually going to take this inside and blow out the fins with some compressed air. And uh, do that. And I'm going to chase the threads on this hole over here by the exhaust before we put it back together. And then we'll see if we have any spark out of this thing. Let's see. So the head itself isn't really that dirty. There's just a little bit of crap on there. But we'll take it all apart and we'll clean it up nice before we try to start it. All right, we got the shredded old tires off. We're gonna to try to put on these used Carlisle treads here with a tube and see what happens. All right, we got one tire on and uh, ended up, uh, when I was hammering the crap out of these things with that pipe on there, I ended up buggering up those threads of hair on the bottom. So hopefully I can get them cleaned up enough to get those nuts on, otherwise I'm in deep trouble. So. I had a die somewhere that was that size, but I can't find it. I don't know what the heck happened to it, but it's uh, the right size that I was looking for. And uh, other than that, once we get these tires on here, we got a broken tie rod over here to deal with. See, that just snapped right off there. And this end is just frozen solid. So I was trying not to spend any money on this tractor, but... Uh, that might not be uh, possible. This thing is really shot, so I might just borrow a tie rod, say, off one of these other tractors over here temporarily. See what happens. All right, guys, we got both uh, tires on there and tubed. And again, these are used the tires, but they're in good shape. They're not all dry rotted and cracked through like the. Uh, Original ones were so it's Sunday night about nine o'clock or something eight thirty nine o'clock and uh, Pretty much all I did on this this weekend was the king pins and change all four tires So the next thing we got to tackle is the uh, electrical system and see if we can get it cranking and uh, I don't think that will be a big deal. I put that new key switch in there and Maybe clean the points. Hopefully we can get it started but for now, uh, that's a wrap until probably next weekend. So, hope you enjoyed.